Well, we're off. First time in days and days. Uh, foot's feeling a lot better. Still a bit uh, iffy. But Fran's gone ahead to open the lock. Uh, we're just doing a couple of locks and filling up the tank with water. And uh, she's got a helper with her. And I think some of you might recognise who it is. It's Robbie coming himself. It's getting a bit of a habit bumping into him. Up in these northern canals. Fran's got a smile on her face. Hey Robbie! <laughs> He's a bit shy in front of camera. <laughs> Put your back into it, come on. Cheers, Robbie. Top man. Well, here we go. It's a beautiful morning, it's not yet eight o'clock and uh, it's nice and still for once the ideal time to see if this baby is gonna fly I've checked the uh, status I'm legal to fly here I'm not in any uh, airspace that I shouldn't be in um, got a wide enough grassy area here we're just gonna take it up not too high get some film of the uh, locks below so here goes it says here I'm ready to go there she goes Recording. I've almost forgotten how to use it. <laughs> oh yes, here we go. We're back in the game. Well, one foot away. Pretty hot, eh? <coughs> Excellent. So that's good news, that's uh, the drone sorted out. Hopefully it's uh, all good. Um, I guess it was just damp and really cold on the day that it crashed a few weeks ago. So uh, yeah, really pleased. And now I'm gonna go and complete another mission, have a shower. And apparently the showers here are really nice and warm and uh, clean. So Fran went in there last night and had one and uh, I'm going now. It'd be nice to stand under hot water without having to turn it off, wash yourself down and then turn it back on again. And uh, invariably on the boat when we've had a shower, the second one in gets it cold. <laughs> so this will be nice. We're in the village of Wheelock. This is an old canal warehouse here. And uh, it's now a, an Italian restaurant and apparently it's very good but uh, we're just passing through so unfortunately we won't be sampling its delights maybe another time so the shower's over there and let's see if I can get me clean shower facilities go. That was brilliant. 
to be able to just stand under there for minutes under hot water. Fabulous. First lock of the day, and as you see, these are narrow doubles. So there's two locks, one side by side, built to facilitate faster throughput back in the day. Nicely maintained. There's herself waving on the top. Boat's almost come to a standstill. It must be a bit shallow down there. the second lock here it's no longer a lock and uh, it's just been used as a, a by wash now for excess water I think we might be moving a couple of locks today because we've run out of water nearly um, so we'll move along a little bit later but we're not wasting time we're not just sitting down doing nothing I've had a little bit of salt out I'm going to do a bit of seed sowing I've managed to get a little bag of uh, sowing compost from a local shop can't do very much but I've gone through my seeds had a bit of a salt out and decided what's worth growing again and what's not raw beans and peas I'm abandoning because although they grow we didn't really get anything much off of them that made it worthwhile we've obviously only got limited space so they're going we're not doing those radishes will be pretty soon going in and carrots and little stringless french beans were really good last year but they can go direct into troughs or pots on the roof in a few weeks time but today I'm really just going to sow some lettuce seeds and try and start some courgettes off. I've improvised some sewing trays, which is mushroom pots and egg boxes. And I'm going to sow the seeds in the compost in the egg boxes, pop them in there so there's a little bit of drainage underneath them. Um, and fingers crossed they'll all grow nicely. Now the other project that I've got on the go today is to try and make a bird feeder because we've left, or well we have left some bird feeders behind by accident but the last one we think somebody took from canal side um, and we don't want to leave pieces of plastic and metal around in the countryside 
So we've got fat balls and I've got to try and find a way of putting them out and also probably leaving them there because if we're there for a few days they attract all the birds. After a day we get lots of birds and it seems a bit of a shame to actually take the fat balls away from them once they've got used to them being there. So this is what I've got. Some natural sheep's wool, some bits of willow twig some leaves, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use those in my fat balls and I'm going to try and design uh, an environmentally friendly fat ball feeder that I can just leave in the hedgerow and it won't matter. So we'll see how we go. to make a hole through the fat ball. I did try with a hot um, crochet needle to melt through but the first one just broke. So the second one I just very very carefully wheedled a hole all the way through the screwdriver. I didn't intend it to be like this, it was going to be different but this is a really flexible little bit of willow twig. So once I've got the hole, pushed the willow twig through, was able to bend it over easily into a handle and then just as an extra bit I've put a couple of little twigs on the side just for the birds to perch on and just you can pick up bits of fleece anywhere I just didn't want to put anything leave anything in the hedges that wouldn't naturally be there but we just found some sheep's wool and just twisted it into a yarn which is really strong and I've just tied it up with that so who knows we'll give it a go <laughs> Well, we're doing lots of locks yesterday and today. Yesterday we did 10. That's the most we've done for ages, I, I think, know. isn't it? Today we're doing 12. Fortunately, they're really quick little locks. Um, I'm doing most of the driving. I've done a, operated a couple of locks further back, but my foot's getting a lot better. I can manage to walk a lot better. So, uh, fingers crossed, everything's fine. Just having to do everything really more carefully and slowly than you would, haven't you? Than you would normally. Um, because what you can't afford to do is twist your foot now. Some of these access to these locks are steep, cobbled paths like that. Yeah. It's not the easiest sometimes, is it? But we're doing fine. We're back on the move. I don't think my dancing days are over just yet. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. So we've, we're going to a junction called Red Bull. It's a, well, is it a junction or a wharf? It's, it's um, a junction. Junction, yeah. yeah. That's, that's where the um, Macclesfield Canal meets the Trent and Mersey. This little stretch of canal with all these locks on it, it's called, um, what do they call the, the locks? It's the Cheshire Locks. No. Oh, Heartbreak Hill. Heartbreak Hill. <laughs> it's known as, cause, because of all the locks, but uh, it's not all that, is it? We've, we've been through a lot worse. Well, we've, we've been through it with only three arms and three legs between us, so it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> and uh, we're picking up a car at the weekend. Um, we're going down to London, visit our little granddaughter who we haven't seen in a couple of months. Yes. And uh, looking at the videos we get sent, she's really coming on, isn't yeah. she? She's a beautiful, beautiful little girl. So we're going to spend the weekend in London and all that has to offer. And Red Bull Junction looks like it's a really good place to stop, doesn't it? Yeah, to leave the yeah. boat, it's Hopefully. safe, and it's a good place for the car to be collected from. Or they, they drop it off to us, we book it and they drop it off. So that looks really good. We might lose the camera on this bridge. What do you think? Now, it's going to be close. Oh, hang on a minute. Bear with. <laughs> Just have a look at the biscuits for a minute, look. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, that was a low one. <laughs> so not only is it a, a Red Bull Junction, looks like a good place to leave the boat safe, 
Uh, it's easy to get access with the car because the car gets dropped off to us um, and there's a car park there so that looks fine. But there's also the Red Bull pub which I think looks quite acceptable or it seems that it's okay and it is Friday today What's so we mean? might have to pay Not a little a visit night. today. But, um, yes we'll see. So it's going to be a good weekend. We had a lovely evening on uh, Tuesday. Yes. We met up with Chris and Shell. Uh, from YouTube, YouTube channel Chris and Shell, <laughs> Narrabouters, and uh, also met up with Robbie Cummings. Uh, Actually got him working for got, us. Yeah, got him doing a lock or two for <laughs> us. He's uh, keep bumping into him, don't we? I so, think he's stalking us, actually. Yeah, yeah. And also a couple of viewers that we bumped into way back early days on the Kennet and Avon Canal. Uh, Stephen and Caroline, hello. Hiya. And uh, they're up here now as well, so it's uh, great how you see people here and there all the time. You bump into people, don't you? Yeah. It's, it's lovely. So we had a great night in the pub, didn't we? It was yeah. uh, really entertaining, so yes. thank you all for that. We're noticing as we go along that the flora, the, the flowers, really change from area to area. A couple of miles back it was all bright yellow gorse bushes everywhere, which were beautiful, really bright. Then suddenly a tiny little yellow flower, which I think is called fleabane, um, which you can actually scatter around to obviously keep fleas away, but we don't need that, hopefully. <laughs> and I've just seen a completely, a mile down the road, a completely new plant all along this hedgerow, too tiny to show you, um, but it's a spring plant that we never even knew about until we were on canals. Butterbur. Butterbur. But um, it's really interesting, just a mile along, that it can just completely change. So anyway. that's us. <laughs> Nothing else to report, and uh, just going past the little CRT yard. Yeah. Another thing, <laughs> there's been a, a, a new stoppage on the canal near Marple. They've actually drained a section of it, apparently, while they're doing geophysics or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. So that's a bit worrying. They're not going to update us. Their last update was Monday. They're not going to update us till next Monday as to what's going on. Uh, so the canal's shut down up there and that's really where we want to be. It's just before, you know, like, like 100 yards before we need to, yeah. before the place that we need to be. But all we can do at the moment, because we're under a bit of time pressure to get there, is keep cranking it in the right direction and watching the signs. And at some point next week, we might just have to sit and regather our thoughts completely. Turn around, again. maybe. Yeah. But that's what this life is about, isn't it? We've always said you can't plan too much. You just have to go with the flow and uh, work it out as you go along. So we'll see. Indeed. So what's it going to be? Custard cream or chocolate hobnob? Well, I always start with a custard cream. How about a chocolate custard cream? Yeah, eh? pushing the boundaries of what can be done <laughs> in biscuit confectionery. Getting above my station yeah. now, aren't I? Mm -hmm. 